using the program MAV2 to smooth time series in statistics. Now, uh, before you begin in your program application, you'll need to make sure you've got a copy of this program MAV2. To get hold of that, you can head off to a website. Um, charliewatson.com slash classpad brings you to this page where if you choose programs, uh, it takes you to the programs and scrolling down there's a variety of programs here um, Here's the one we're looking for MAV uses moving averages to smooth time series now depending on which model of class pad the uh, new class pad 2 or the older class pad we want to download MAV 2 and you can see uh, It's just downloaded ready to load into my calculator how do you get it into your calculator? At the top of the page, you can get instructions for how to get it into the new. We'll click on that link and here it is. Um, download help and there's a little help sheet. Please read how to transfer files between Classpad 2 and your computer. So this one's uh, just loading here. Let's have a look. And here we go. It's a couple of pages. Explains how to get stuff off um, a website such as this one into your class pad so we'll leave the website and uh, assume you've got it safely installed on your calculator so back to the calculator and uh, first job is to come into statistics and into list one we want to put the times and in list two the actual time series data once that's done uh, we head off back to the program application so i'll swipe over into program and if you've got any other programs, just choose MAV from the drop down list. But you can see I've only got one installed at the moment on this uh, particular class pad. To start it up, we hit the play button at the very top here. And uh, it just reminds you this warning screen that the uh, time must be in list one and data in list two. Tap OK to continue. And the first thing it asks is, is how many data points? Now, um, we know for this data series, we probably want to have a, a go at four. Um, so we'll type in four and tap OK. And let's have a look. Yes, here is the original data series going up and down and up and down here. And by choosing a four, you can see these little red markers here um, are the smooth data points. And the green line is the regression line going through them. And down here, we've got the equation of that green regression line, the gradient, uh, the y-intercept and the correlation coefficient looking pretty strong there. So to continue, um, we tap the play button down here and the seasonal components are calculated uh, and displayed here for each part. So for part one of the cycle, it's a small and negative one. We can see for the fourth part of the cycle, it's very large and negative. That must be these three points that we can see here well below average. Um, now, once we've done that, the last thing the program offers you is whether you want to make a prediction or not. So let's say, yes, we want to predict for um, time series 16, say. So we'll say, yes, OK. And it asks us for the X value. So we'll type in 16 and tap OK. And ClassPad does the prediction. Um, it's calculated the predicted value added in the seasonal component, which of course has brought the prediction for the future value down. Um, so if we tap the play button again, we can make a different prediction or we can simply choose two and say no. And that's basically the program finished. At any time, you can simply tap menu to leave the program. But um, you can see here by finishing properly, uh, it reminds us what's in the lists in statistics now. So we'll say okay. And let's go and have a look. Here's our statistics window upstairs. I'll just resize it. And uh, here's our original kind of paired data in here. But now in list three, um, here are the moving averages that have been calculated. Over in list four, here are our residuals. Uh, list five are the seasonal components. So they should repeat every fourth value. And in the sixth list we've got the seasonally adjusted values for the original data using the seasonal component so it saves a bit of work on those types of problems